First into the tank is an entrepreneur who is ready to take on a competitive market. Hello, Sharks. I'm Fran Harris from Dallas, Texas. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> and I'm seeking $350,000 in exchange for 20% of my company. Sharks, the sports drink category is a $23 billion opportunity. The problem is that a lot of these companies who are purporting to have functional hydration are actually putting water in bottles that are full of nothing more than sugar, artificial colors and ingredients, and you guessed it, salt. Sharks, consumers are not gonna settle for a sports drink that overpromises and underdelivers, leaving you feeling tired and sluggish. Do you know why? Do you know why? No. Why? why? Because there's a new sports drink in town, and she's got game. <laughs> Introducing Electra, a better for you functional beverage hydration company that's going to change the sports drink game forever. Sharks, I played on an undefeated Division I women's basketball team at the University of Texas. I also played on the WNBA's first championship team with the Houston Comets. So safe to say I've consumed a lot of hydration and sports drinks. And I can tell you without a doubt that everyday athletes, hustlers, and doers, what they're looking for and Electra delivers on every single one of those. And yeah, there's some competition out there, but let me tell you, Sharks, we are coming for that ass. <laughs> <laughs> so there's really only one question remaining. Who's ready to electrify their hustle in the tyranny of these sugary sports drinks and help me raise this billion dollar baby? Good you job. Are great. great. Are we going to try these? Yes, you are going to try those. So those are the three flavors. There is Liddy Lemonade, there is Passion Punch, and there is, oh yeah, Orange. Passion Punch is good. Is there a particular top seller? So those are our launch flavors. You haven't sold any yet. Have, good question, Kevin. Already <laughs> you're showing how wonderful you are. Um, no, we haven't sold them. We literally just launched about 10 days ago. Wow. OK? What do you use to sweeten it? We are using monk fruit to sweeten it. The question that we will get to either sooner or later mm -hmm. is you mentioned a few competitors. Now, they're not just ordinary competitors. They are bone-crushing monsters who own this category. What is the plan for you to get distribution in the bone-crushing bone business? Crushing of sports beverages. Well, Kevin, you heard my background. I'm not afraid of competitors. Yeah. I've uh, competed all of my life. And she's not afraid of you, Kevin. And um, competition is a good thing. The plan is to go direct to consumer online. But Shipping I do... a 12-pound box? That's going to be expensive. Let me finish. The plan is to go direct to consumer as well as to go to retail. My background is uh, I was a salesperson for Procter & Gamble, so I'm very familiar, have a lot of experience in the CPG market. So I get the freight, I get how expensive it's going to be, but I also believe that you have to go direct to consumer because there are a lot of consumers online who are looking for hydration and we need to be there just like we need to be there at retail. So why did you decide to go with a drink as opposed to a mix? Because when, once you are hustling and you're active, you want to walk into a convenience store or a store and you want to grab something then, right? You don't want to grab a water and then grab your mix and then have to do all that. But I think the convenience factor is a big thing. And, and I get that. It's just getting that space totally. in the cooler, right, is hard. And then trying to be direct to consumer. Sure is even harder because it's got to be costs. mixed direct consumer. That's a 24 pound case, 12. That'll weigh 24 Agreed. pounds. Agree. I, I think it's important to be both. I think it's important to be on shelf. And I think it's important to have a mix that people can order online. The shipping is going to be less. As somebody who works out, I always have to replenish potassium. So the amount of potassium relative to the amount of calories is really good. Thank you. So that's a positive. My challenge is, though, with the Mavs, I already have two big deals with sports drink manufacturers. Okay. So I can't touch anything at all. But I just gotta tell you, the formulation is great, the taste is great, but unfortunately, for those reasons, I'm out. Are you working full-time on this now? I am. 
Where are you manufacturing this? So we manufacture it in a little place called Capel, which is right outside of Dallas. Are you going to be using a distributor? Yes, we actually just, I got an email today from one of the largest distributors who wants to see a sales sheet on it because I dropped some of it off last week. And what is your first production run going to be? The first production run will probably be between 20 or 30,000. And where are you getting that money from? We it's have some cheap. of that meeting and hopefully the rest of it will come ah. from this little audience ah. right here. So you can't take that product in until you get the money from us, right? That's right, good job, Barbara. <laughs> Fran, how would you spend the $350,000? Could you break that down for me? Production, it would probably be somewhere between twenty dollars and $30,000, okay? In terms of R&D, probably $25,000 or something so like that. So about $50,000. And the rest of the money, what would you do with that? So I would also hire someone for logistics, sales and marketing. So first of all, I love you because I love your straightforwardness and your strength and your confidence. I would be uber excited about you, but the drinks themselves aren't really my cup of tea. And so for those reasons, I'm out. You're out. Thank you, Lori. You have a very impressive background. Your pitch was flawless. There is no data on sell-through here, friend. You are running, and you want to take my $350,000. I do. And, <laughs> and experiment <laughs> I do. On Absolutely, I whether do. this can work or not. You don't have enough data to do that. I don't, want to, I don't want to discourage you, but I also don't want to see you crash and burn. Confidence is not enough. I hear what you're saying. First of all, I win. All I do is win. So even though I'm new in this category, I'm going to continue because I know that I'm going to be able to carve out a niche place for Electra and that we're going to win. We are coming for that ass. That's it. <laughs> okay? All right. Any other category, any other product, anything else, that kind of, you know, confidence would be very useful. Look, I wish you the best, I really do, right. but I'm not taking this ride with you. I'm sorry, I'm out. So, okay, turns out you're not so Mr. Wonderful. Thank That's you. That's right, thank Ooh. you for that. Uh, oh, okay. oh! Damon. I don't want to agree with Kevin, but I've had a lot of challenges with this area, and I, I just wouldn't be able to help you with this because uh, it's just so difficult, so I'm out. Okay, thank you, Damon. Barbara, it's just me and you. It's okay. I don't mind an empty That's a lot. Room. Yeah. I wish I hadn't come in here and pitched a beverage business. Uh, I rarely agree with Kevin, but I do. It's the worst possible space. Uh, the very first money I lost on Shark Tank was to a small company a uh, guy with fire in his belly, great conviction, right formulation, named Chill Soda. I lost that money in a month. Boom. So it's a terrible space. So for you to stand here and be so fearless, you're a hell of a salesman. When I heard that pitch, there wasn't a single word wasted. But I'm not willing to risk 350. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $100,000 cash up front, a $250,000 line of credit, but because it's a high risk deal, I want 40% of the business. Yowza. Oh. Yowza. Now who's wearing the oh. wings? Oh. Who's getting that ass now? Barbara, I really, really, really appreciate that offer. And I can't tell you this until we decide whether we're gonna work together, but I have some things that are in place you might uh, want to tell me now. I should tell you now. You think oh, so? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, do have, I do have a couple of Hall of Famers. One is an NFL Hall of Famer. One is an NBA Hall of Famer who are ready to come to the table to bring their influence to move this product. Not their cash. Both of them are cash. Both of them are cash. But well, I told it. them. Yes, both Good of them are cash. You. So I told Thank them that. Thank you for hiding that until everybody was out. <laughs> see, I wanted to see who was with me, Barbara. I wanted I'm to see you, who baby. was with me. Um, and these are real offers that are on the table. So I like your offer, but not for 40%. Would you be willing to take 25% for the same deal and we have a deal? I'll give you, or I'll take 30% if you could bring those two big fish in with us. And if not, all bets are off. So if I can't get both of them in, you're out completely? If you don't bring them in, you don't get the 100,000, you don't get the credit line, you're gonna have to take a gamble yourself here, but I think that's only fair because I'm taking a huge gamble myself. So, I'm not sure that I want both of them. Oh, you're not sure? That I want both of them. Okay. I, I can get both of them. I'm going to trust you that if you could get the good one, uh, then yes, I'll do that. But if you don't get them, you don't get anything. You'll do what, 30%, Barbara? Yeah, 30%, you bring the big fish in, and still the structure of my deal is the same, $100,000 with 250 credit line. You drive a hard bargain, Barbara! Say yes, it's a no good choice. deal. Um, yeah, she has no choice. She's got... What'd you say, Mark? I just said, said you had no choice. Deal. 
I always have a choice. There's but no I, choice when it comes to Barbara. I always have a choice. I love the deal, and I'll take your deal, Barbara. You got it. I wish I could hug you, but I can't, but let's go! I'll, I'll make up for it later, all the hugs. Thank, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, Barbara makes an offer. You have no choice. You have to take that deal. There's no question, beverages are difficult, but all I've done all my life is win. And with Barbara on board, I know I'll keep winning. Woo! We are coming for that ass. I think it's a good deal. You know, you only get to live once. Why live in hell? So they can hang out with you, Kevin. Come on! <laughs>